Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. As you can see, up in the top there, frames per second are running a lot better than they were yesterday. They're not running where they should normally be, but I'm not dropping as many frames, so I am satisfied. Um. I sat and played with the bitrate uh, settings, the output settings, um, and the FPS values, and something in doing all of that did the trick. Something got it to where it's not dropping so many frames now, so I am happy as can be. I am A-OK -okay with it working correctly. So, so now we can finally do some baling and haymaking and uh, haymaking in general and not be running like absolute dog shit. So not only am I happy, but I hope that this makes it better for all you guys watching as well. So the plan here, we're going to bale these last two windrows. We're going to take the rake up. Well, we're going to take the rake and the baler right away up to our next hayfield. And we're going to go ahead and get started on cutting our next hayfield. It's just a little guy, so should be able to get all of it cut this video. Um, and then we'll try and probably just try and get all of the hayfields up north cut. Uh, right away and then we'll go back and get the raking and baling done on them um, once we have all of that done oh, we missed a spot there but that's okay I'm not as picky about that stuff as I used to be I mean, if some of you have been around for a while you know <laughs> a while back like in FS13 I hated missing anything I always had to go back and get it, pick it back up. It drove me nuts. But I don't care as much anymore. <laughs> but I'm just happy that finally got the FPS to stay where it should be um, since we do have to take this back up here towards the baler or the rake I am going to pick up this a little bit though so we're gonna go ahead we'll drive this up here get it behind the rake and put follow me mod on I could have picked up those two little bits too but like I said I'm not too worried about it so let's see if follow me mod will engage here. There we go. Alright, perfect. So we got that guy ready. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn the HUD off, turn the FPS off. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I guess we can leave the FPS on until we take a screenshot. Come on, please make that corner. Please make that corner. Ooh, let's not go in the wheat field. I want to avoid this road, but I also don't want to go in my wheat field. I would much rather not do that. Alright, let's get our hazards on. We're going to wait for that guy to catch up a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and pull on out here. Wait for him to get get caught up a little bit here. Oh, 
Let me drop that loader just a little bit. We're slowly losing that tractor. Which is not good. I don't want to be doing that. Tens blowing a little smoke. It'd be kind of nice if the dynamic smoke or dynamic exhaust or whatever the hell it was called uh, script was in 19. You know, back I think it was FS13 where you could just make stuff just roll coal. I mean, you'd have to add the script to it, but you know, once you did, whatever you had that script added to. As soon as you'd hit the gas, it would just blow. And that's... That'd be kind of nice to have, honestly. Especially on these older tractors. Because, I mean, these older tractors, like, you know, this Alice and this, uh... Farmall here. Or International, excuse me. You know, these two... They would... They're definitely... They're tractors that would most definitely be smoking like none other. And, I mean, you can make your diesel pickups do it. You know, that kind of stuff. So we're almost up here to our field. It's just up here. Because I believe, yeah, I moved, I moved the swather off camera, so you guys hadn't seen that. So, you guys will get a look see at where it's sitting it's sitting up here above our soybeans uh, anybody coming from that way we look good down that way and yeah, we look good both ways so let's get this guy across get both of these guys across before somebody oh no 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 please stop please stop please stop oh <laughs> that was close that was way too close oh my goodness Wow. So we got it at this little guy up here by our soybean field. Our soybeans are coming up uh, finally as well. So everything, all of our crops are out of the ground now. Everything is above ground. So now it's just kind of the waiting game until harvest. Alright, let's go ahead. We're going to take that guy off of follow me mod as soon as he gets up close to us here there we go because we're gonna go ahead we're gonna pull this right over here drop the loader and then we'll go grab this which shut off Shut them off, and then this guy, we're just going to go ahead and pull off right over here. Oh, it's starting to get some dirt forming on it. We're getting there. Oop. That is our rake tractor. I have my player speed set high still. All right. Let's get some more hay swathed. See if we can't get a few more bales made. See, I think we're just going to keep swathing, or, you know, I'll just keep having videos on cutting hay here uh, for now until we get all of it cut. And then we'll probably go back and we'll go through and we'll rake everything and then we'll go back and bale it all. And then we'll have a, f a little while of uh, hauling and stacking hay. Because it'll take us a while to haul and stack it all. Because uh, if I haven't mentioned it or if you're just joining to the series, uh, I am going to be taking the bales and stacking them in our hay sheds by hand. So... Um, another thing that I have thought about doing, but it's kind of a lot more unrealistic approach, 
uh, and just kind of something I don't know if I want to do really. Um, through the global company mod, there is a set of bale sheds that um, are they're placeables that you can basically drive up to it and you can dump your bales off and then it kind of stores them in it itself. Um, I mean, I did kind of think that that's something we could do. I don't know, though. I mean, I guess you guys let me know what you think on that. Um, if you think that we should go with something like that, where it's, you know, it's like a building, you just drive up to the trigger, dump the bales out, and it stacks them for you inside of it, you know, kind of stores them, or if we should just stick to stacking them by hand. I personally think that we should just stack them by hand, just because, one, it's a lot more realistic, too. It's a little more fun than just having something, you know, stack them for you. <laughs> Excuse me. Stack them for you and whatnot. But again, that's just me. It's because this field's smaller. We're just going to go around it twice with the swather here. drop we can go ahead and do some in cab cutting here finish off this little guy here and then we'll move on to our next one which we'll have to look and see where what the next one's gonna be I'm not sure where our next hayfield is going to be. I still don't exactly know where all of our hayfields are because I haven't really sat and looked at where exactly everything is. Let's see. I think we should be able to pick this all up in one pass here. Yep. Cool, cool. That is another hayfield done. So let's figure out here where our next hayfield is going to be at. We are up here. I think this guy right here is our next one. Yep. But to get to that one, we need to go through field 56. So we're probably going to cut a different one on the way over to that field. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to get out of this one. So we can sneak beside that tree there. One thing I should look into making is a swather trailer. That'd be kind of a good build to kind of get back into modding and modeling and sh uh, whatnot. Because, I mean, a swather trailer wouldn't be too hard to make. Because it's basically just kind of like a dolly trailer. And then just kind of have a some sort of locking function on it or something. To where you just kind of drive the drive it up there and then once you lock that wheel on it locks that thing in place so we got another little hay field up here on our right so we'll go ahead and we'll work on cutting that one next This one right here. This will be our next one to tackle here. 
Which we'll want to probably make sure that this field's cut come harvest, because... Which I have a feeling we probably will do a second cutting of hay. Um, just because I don't know if we'll have enough hay bales off of our first cutting to last us. Um, through the winter. And I don't want to have to buy hay uh, this winter or in the spring or any time at all, really. I don't want to have to buy any hay. Because that gets expensive. So I want to try and put up as much hay as I can. But we're going to have to wait another, I think, three days before we can come back and cut this again. I think it is. Um, I think it's, for grass, I think it's three days to uh, fully grow back so we'll kind of have to wait that three days but I mean we got a lot of time left um, I mean we have enough time to where I think we could probably even get a sec you know we can get a second end and probably a third cutting off you know which if need be we will do a third cutting um, we'll just kind of have to see how many bales we have put together once we get our uh, first and second cuttings done I mean, I guess we'll see what we got after we get done this first round, but I don't really think that we'll have enough, because right now we're at, uh, let's see here, we are at, we're only at 19 bales, and we already have two of our fields done. So, I mean, I, I don't know, it, it might be, we might need a lot. <laughs> I mean, granted, we're only going to be running about 50 cows, but when we got to use that hay for both our mixed rations and our um, hay, you know, to feed just plain grass, it will it will kind of add up. I mean, granted, we can always buy TMR. You know, I guess now that I think about it, we wouldn't have to necessarily buy bales because uh, we do have the um, that silo where we can buy stuff from. You know, the one that we'll be using to buy our pig food from. And we do have that trailer. So, I mean, if need be, we can always buy TMR and we can always buy... Um, grass and whatnot too but I would really like to avoid doing that if possible as I mean that's just more money that we're spending and you know we can we have all this hay land which we can use to put up hay basically for free you know I mean it's not costing us anything but fuel to uh, be putting this hay up so that's really the only thing that we're paying right now is fuel. Which I did, uh, I did have somebody comment on a video a while, a few videos back, saying that there was a uh, increased fuel consumption mod, and so I did go and get that downloaded. I don't, I don't remember your name offhand. Um, I'd have to look, but. Um, Thanks to, I mean, you, you know who you are, so <laughs> go ahead, comment on this video if you're watching. Uh, give yourself some credit. Uh, thank you for letting me know about that. Uh, I did, after I read your comment and responded to it, I did go and find that script mod, so I did get that downloaded, so that way, you know, our fuel usage is a little higher. Uh, maybe we won't. Uh, go and plant all of our fields with the same tractor and not have to uh, fill fuel. That'll be a little bit nice. I think we got about another two passes left in this field. I 
two or three, something like that. And then we'll have this one done, and then we can go ahead and move the swather over to our next field and see if we can't maybe get a little cut and done on our next one right away. We should be able to pick all this up in one pass, I would think. Oh, maybe not. Might be a little bit wide. Up here farther, we might be able to get it in one more pass, but we might have to go back for just a little bit of grass down at the other end. Maybe. Let's see if we can't pick that up. There we go. That'll work. That is another hayfield done. Go ahead, grab us a picture there. So our next hayfield is going to be up here. It's going to be a little bit different to get into because I don't want to drive over our crop field. Uh, actually, we could start on this one next. Let's go ahead and do that because this one, we're right here, so we might as well start on this one. Because we have two fields right by each other here. So we might as well go ahead and knock these ones out right away. While we are up here. So I do kind of want to look and see if I can't figure out how to get alfalfa added to this map. Um, then we could just come back in and see if I can't get all these hay fields seeded into alfalfa instead. And then we can cut alfalfa and use that as hay instead of normal grass. Make it a little even more realistic. Realistic. Apparently, I can't talk. This one here should give us a good few bales. That one will give us a couple, but that last one we'll cut. That one should definitely give us a few bales. Um, that one's pretty decent size, so I would think that we should get a decent amount of hay off of it. That's my hope, anyways, is that we can get a decent amount of bales our first cut. Sunflowers are coming up good as well. All of our crops are looking pretty fine. Hopefully we'll have a good harvest turnout. And if we do, then we might... Uh, we might maybe sell off our current bins and look at building some different ones. I do, I know I did talk about this in another video. Uh, I want to look at getting a uh, bin set up. Um, because of this map having the global company script added into it, we could use a grain bin set up with dryers on it. So we might uh, look into doing that. We will, in addition to that, we will get some grain bins as well. Because um, I'm probably not going to really store much of anything in there. Uh, for the most part, except for probably our corn. Um, I mean, that's probably about the only thing we'll store in there. Because, uh, I mean, I'm not really going to dry anything else besides the corn. Because uh, I don't think... I'm going to dry like soybeans or sunflowers or anything. We'll see. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll throw them in there. Dry them up. Coming out of the field. We'll see. You know, that could be something that we do kind of in the winter wintertime. Uh, before we go sell it. You know, we could store. You know, like the corn we can put straight into the dryer. And then our um, other crops we can put in a bin right away. And then before we, you know, go and sell them. We can kind of go and stick them in the dryer, in the dryer, get them dried up, 
and then just sell them directly out of the dryer. Who knows? That could be something we could do. We'll see. We'll have to see how next, how this harvest season does, and see what we can do for next season. Uh, we will have one bin of corn from this season that we'll have set aside um, for our pigs because we do have to feed them corn so we will have that bin set aside uh, for using for feeding them which I mean it'll be a little while before we sell our grain anyways because I don't know if I'll sell everything right away in the spring or not um, if anything I might sell just a few truckloads just enough to kind of keep us running um, but it may not be you know it'll kind of depend we'll have to see what the uh, best time to sell each crop is going to be so we can kind of get the best price for our grain because um, I mean I know like there's some crops that their their prices are better you know the market for them is better in the winter than it is in the spring and summer and fall you know so on uh, it's just kind of how some crops are so so we're getting a lot done today which is good uh, because this field's a little larger we are going to go around it four times with the swather so we can have two uh, passes around it with the rake uh, for our end rows anyways I mean for the moment right now we are sitting pretty good on money there really isn't a whole lot that we're going to have to buy right now and up until after harvest uh, because after harvest we will be taking our side dresser and we will be using that to apply some fertilizer uh, into our ground um, that way once we go back in the spring with our planters and put down fertilizer uh, we will hopefully have our fields pretty well fertilized then uh, that's the hope anyways kinda hoping that that's how it'll work out but we'll have to see uh, I don't think that we'll have to put lime down again uh, but I might anyways you know we'll maybe just put it down anyway and um, just plant it directly in <sighs> Oops, that was the wrong button. I accidentally hit B alone instead of hitting left button B to uh, pick up the header. So there are going to be, you know, for the most part, come fall, we will be having the combine running a lot of course play uh, on a lot of our fields just so that way, you know, we'll probably be running grain cart and truck for the most part um, and then we'll just kind of have course play take care of our combine um, but there are a few smaller fields where it really won't pay to run cor run the grain cart uh, like the two smaller fields I think it's ugh. excuse me I think it's uh, 25 and 26 right next to each other there or 26 and 27 something like that uh, two of our wheat fields that are rather small those ones won't really pay to pull the grain cart into because I mean they're they're smaller fields so if the combine fills up we can just always walk over to the truck and bring the truck over and dump it but uh, but then again I could be wrong it could yield well enough to where it will pay to have that grain cart in the field even though it's a small field who knows we'll kind of have to see how harvest plays out when it comes around definitely want to pick up some larger fields next season um, if we can that might be kind of our first thing uh, maybe fields uh, I do want to get that one planter uh, traded in on something different I did do testing 
of that case early riser planter um, it does direct seed so uh, we will be able to pick that one up and direct seed uh, our crops so I do want to pick that up oops apparently it didn't register there I do want to pick that up and uh, use that next season so we'll probably be pulling that out this fall probably go trade it in or something um, I do want to look at uh, probably selling our Quonset and our um, heated shop um, I did download a different shop it's actually Abel Modding's building uh, it's his kind of main workshop um, I did download that somebody had taken it off of one of the maps that it's on here in 19 and they turned it into a placeable so that's kind of neat um, it's got an area for cold storage in the back and then it's got the main heated shop so I want to look into getting that um, and buying that and um, where I want to put it is right over top of where our Quonset and our machine shed are so we will probably just get rid of those um, because I mean we won't need the Quonset because it does you know that building does have the cold storage so we can stick our uh, combine our grain cart and our truck in there along with some other equipment if we have to um, you know we can see if we can fit the side dresser in there it might fit we'll see if the uh, doors are tall enough for it uh, but they may not be but um, you know we'll probably be able to shuffle equipment around too and kind of fit some things in there so but uh, the timer did go off and I'm still sitting here jabbering on um, but we got our end rows finished so hopefully in tomorrow's video we can get uh, the rest of this field cut I'm gonna go ahead and get this turned around and then we'll get it ready here and uh, get ready to get rolling but that's gonna do it for today guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you have not already and make sure you turn on the post notifications if you have not done so already to be notified every time I'll I upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs my upload schedule links to all my social medias as well as links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at thanks for watching guys and as always we'll see y'all tomorrow